Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you techniques to crochet plaid designs, such as gingham, tartan, checks, madras, and more. I'm using worsted weight yarn and an H hook. For this sample technique, chain 26, or any multiple of 5 plus 1. We're going to work with two colors in this sample on every row, and we'll crochet over the unused one. So insert another color yarn at this time, insert your hook back into the normal chain loop, and skip the first chain, just as you would in regular crochet. We're going to make one single crochet in each of the next five chains. As we're doing this, we're going to crochet over the white yarn at this time. Three, four, and five. Now before we finish the fifth stitch, we're going to drop the pink yarn and then pick up the white yarn to finish the fifth pink stitch. This gets our yarn and hook ready for our next color change. Then over the next five chains, we're going to make one single crochet in each chain using the white yarn. And at the same time, we're going to crochet over the pink yarn and carry it along with us. Four and five. Before we finish the last white yarn stitch, we drop the white yarn and pick up the pink yarn. Finish the stitch with the pink yarn. Over the next five stitches, we use the pink yarn and crochet over the white yarn. Then at the end, make your last five stitches with the white yarn and carry the pink yarn along. Here's what row one looks like. For row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work, just as in regular single crochet. And we're going to pick up the pink yarn and carry it with us as we use the white yarn. So with the white yarn, make one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Be sure to go under both loops of the previous stitch, while at the same time also working with the pink yarn and carrying it along with you as you make the stitches. As before, don't finish stitch number 5 completely just yet. Pick up the pink yarn and use it to complete the fifth stitch. Then begin working with the pink yarn for the next five stitches. And this time we're going to carry along the white yarn as we make our five single crochet stitches. One thing I should mention is we sometimes don't always carry the yarn too neatly across the stitches and you get these little loops. So before switching to the next color, give that carried yarn a little gentle tug to correct any loose loops or stitches along the back. For the next row, we pretty much repeat row two and start with the chain one, turn, and try our best to sort out the yarn strands and work with them. We make our stitches, and keep in mind we're going to do four rows of these color blocks for this particular sample. Other plaid patterns and designs, you might want to do different things. In my next set of four rows, I'm going to do a darker pink over my lighter pink and my same lighter pink over the white yarn. So I connect the darker pink yarn on the last stitch of the previous row. Chain one and turn. Carry the lighter pink yarn while I work with the darker yarn. And then I'll switch to the lighter pink yarn and make changes every five stitches from there. Switching back to the dark pink yarn again. I'm going to go back to my original four rows for my next set of four rows.
In this case, I can't carry up the white yarn for later in this row. So I just attach it like I did in the original chain. And continue on my way with using the lighter pink yarn for the first five stitches and then carrying the white yarn across. Then on the last stitch, switch over to that white yarn and repeat across the row and for four rows. As you can see, you can make any color or design you wish using this plaid technique in crochet. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.